Hi, I'm Trans Sapien, and it is June 14th at uh, 2018 at the time of this video, so we are officially about a week away from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, or at least here in the United States. That's pretty exciting stuff, and uh, <laughs> seeing as I haven't done a, uh, any kind of videos in a while, I figured I'd try to set myself a little goal this time, and was like, um, well, a lot of people I've noticed is kind of doing all sorts of retrospectives and reviews all around, you know, the Jurassic Park series in general and stuff. And then I was thinking about doing something similar, but then I decided I think I'd might uh, do a little review or slash reminiscent kind of thing <laughs> on um, on some lesser known stuff, you know, because there's all sorts of dinosaur themed uh, stuff out there and whatnot. And uh, <clears throat> and uh, so so I think a uh, little goal I'm set for myself here now is to do one of these videos uh, every day up until the release of Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. So kind of a little dino marathon here, you know. And uh, the first one I decided to, uh, or first one I thought of was actually something I haven't thought of in a long time, and it's. One of those things that only pops into your head very rarely, and whenever it does, you're uh, you're always like, "What the hell was that?" You know, it's one of those things. It's something called dinosaurs, dinosaurs, dinosaurs. At least that's as close to an official title as I think I could find on it. I remember seeing this show like I don't know when it was, but I was a little kid, like um, I don't know, middle school or preschool or kindergarten or something like that I don't know but <clears throat> it was like this show or slash this TV um, the, like this TV mini series made for television um, just well basically about dinosaurs and I the main thing I can remember like I, I just actually tried to do a bit of more research on it um, just a couple hours ago and it was about it was it starred a what were the two main guys on it? I can't remember one guy, but I, I, I remember one guy's name was Gary Owens, I believe. And, uh, <coughs> and he's the one I remember because throughout the course of the program, the basic gist was he was turning into a dinosaur. Like, uh, like, like throughout the, the program, while this other guy, they, they found, he found out that um, the one cure was like a, and he was turning into a dinosaur because he was such a dinosaur nut. <laughs> I mean, go figure. But anyway, <clears throat> they come to find out that the cure is water from the Crystal Palace exhibit. And of course, um, you know, paleo fans out there should know that uh, Crystal Palace is was actually, you know, the series of statues and whatnot not, um, made by. Um, first exhibited back in, uh, I can't remember, 18 uh, something something, but uh, I, I, gotta, I gotta school myself a little bit more on that, but it was basically one of the very first like public dinosaur exhibitions, and so it was kind of, kind of an interesting little um, theme going on there, like as he traveled around, he would, you know, find out things about how, um, about uh, how scientists know dino how how they think they lived and stuff like that and how paleontology works or whatever and uh, of course it was all in the 1980s so uh, a lot of the information would be uh, quite uh, quite outdated by today's standard and uh, from what I uh, remember can recall and from what few clips I can like find of it it's uh, <coughs> So it's, it's a pretty cheesy overall and delivery and whatnot. Like it, it featured a couple few um, like uh, animatronic dinosaurs sometimes. Uh, not not on Jurassic Park's level, nothing at all on that level. But also like um, what you call it? There was also a couple um little sequences where it would actually feature some stop motion animation, which. Uh, the couple clips I saw of it um, actually weren't that bad. Uh, <coughs> I wonder if it might have been Gomo, I think. But anyway, um, of course it ends, and it turns, uh, by, by the end, um, well, basically, 
they fail, and the dude turns into a dinosaur. <laughs> it was all kind of pretty weird. Um, but yeah, it was, uh, I don't know, it's it's hard to review something like this. I, I don't really think I, I could even call this little rambling segment here a review, if you will, because... Uh, because, I mean, I've, uh, it's been, I, I haven't been able to watch the entirety of it, like, since I was a kid. And, and all I have is, like, fragmented mem memories of it, as well as the few clips I've been able to find. So, this is more of a, just kind of a reminiscence slash retrospective of it. Or, or is retrospective uh, the right word of it? I don't really know. Anyway, well, <laughs> that's all for, for now. Um, uh, let, let me know what you guys think. Like... Like, if anyone out there watch uh, happens to come across this video, tell me, let me know in the comments um, whether or not you remember this or have heard of this or or if, or if um, picked up anything off of, off of this thing called uh, this 1980s um, d uh, documentary called Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs, Dinosaurs. So, uh... Let, let me know what you think. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully I'll be able to get, um, I'll be able to f finish the goal I set for myself of a video, at least a video a day, every day, um, for, for all of this upcoming week until Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom comes out. And, uh, definitely you could say I start things off with an obscure one this time, but let's see what, uh, I could come up with next time, alright? So, thank you so much for watching, and have a nice day.